What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will with the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and we are looking at a spirit picture. Now this is one, um, God, this is a huge picture NASA put out and they didn't mention this, the anomalous features right in front of our face right here. If you see them right now, we got one big huge thing right here and then up here too, um, well first off, you got all this stuff dug out here and it seems to be that this doesn't look like the rover tracks. So I tell you, wait till you see how big this is. And uh, this is a panorama done. Let me show you exactly where I got it from. This is at the home plate. Uh, Andrew Basiago used this one out in his, uh, there's a press release out there. If you just search this right here, the PIA 11049 out on the internet, you'll uh, you'll see the press release. It has, uh, he said that there's couple different Mars beings in here, all sorts of different stuff. So this one's been around for a while. I saw Thomas posted it on one of the uh, Facebook forums the other day. It reminded me of it. I've got the big, huge, the 132 megabyte TIFF file, but you can get the JPEG and still see the stuff. But if you really want to come in here and edit it, you probably want to check it out. And this one's got a lot of anomalies on it. I'm just going to go over a couple from this side. And uh, let's see, I think if I, I've clicked on a couple of them here. This was the coolest one to me, right off this this thing right here. It definitely looks. I don't know if it's an anomaly. It could just be normal, you know. But it's it's totally out of random, just out of nowhere. I mean, look at it. It's totally random. And if you look at the size, and we're not we're not really given the scale here, but if you just look at some of the stuff, this actually looks like the rover might have been here back and forth. But these rovers weren't that big. The opportunity. Now this was the other piece right here that that really took me by surprise. It looked manufactured. Almost like uh, a solid piece of something. You can see it, and it looks almost like right here, like there's water or something pouring out of it. I'm not sure. Or maybe this is it actually, now. This is this is. It looks like a little translucent guy to me or something. See, it's got two eyes, a nose, little hat on it or something like that. Now you may say this guy's a lunatic if you haven't seen my videos before, but go check out my other videos and and. Plenty of stuff. This, that's not that wouldn't be out of the realm of possible if you if you know what's going on on Mars, especially if you've seen the pictures. What look like you know standing water. Uh, you know, of course NASA just came out and admitted there was clouds. I'm gonna do a news news. Uh, what's up in the sky? News here soon. It's gonna talk about that. Um, there's pictures of trees down. Part of Mars seems to be inhabitable. Um, habitable so it could be inhabited whether under the ground or above ground but either way that's kind of interesting it also might just be a glare off the rock here but um, both of these two are very interesting and just seem to kind of be they look like they've been melted a little bit this area looks like it's got some like uh, heat's been put on it but then look at this long little well this stuff definitely is just uh definitely looks like ramps and stuff like that but check this out it looks like it just destroyed as mars as always Look at the, in the middle here, it's like, a, pretty much looks about the same distance apart throughout it, but there's little spheres in the middle of it. See these things? One, two, three, four, five. There's none right there, but look at this, kind of seems broken up through there. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's just interesting, just kind of sitting there, random with all this junk, you know, and it's all just kind of right here. Look at this rock sticking straight out in the air and it looks like it's sheared off look at the cut on it on the bottom side you can actually see that it's uh that it's a different color you know it looks like it's been cut recently as we move over check this out here now i don't know if this is from stitching the picture together or what but you can see this piece comes down like this and it doesn't look like it's stitched out but this might just be the stitching from it so i'm not going to say that's anything but there's also right here and it also looks like it's right there as well um so either way it's pretty interesting let me flip on my little things here because i there's a couple things i definitely wanted to take a look at and show you guys like yeah like this right here look how this is just kind of randomly looks like it's dug out you know like something hit it but there's nothing sitting here and there's nothing over here that would you know made that line just thought that was pretty cool. Maybe it, whatever it was is gone in a in a dust storm or something like that. But what seems to be a little sharp. They call this place home plate because over in the middle it looks like a home plate. And uh, this is one of the first places that, that it showed up. More just rocks that just look like 
shapes, standard shapes as always we see here on Mars. It's amazing. It's like we go through these pictures and, and the people who I talk to to start doing it, and they're like, wow, man, it doesn't even take long. You just go to the go to the website, pull up 20 pictures from the JPL thing, and you're going to find probably 15 or 20 things that, that look like they shouldn't be on that planet. And stuff that's not just your eyes matricing it or, you know, we're thinking that this looks like something here on Earth. Or, I mean, this is stuff that just looks out of place for a plant that was supposedly never inhabited or um, I don't even know if they even claim that you know I, I don't think that that NASA's ever said a word about that but look at the difference in between this stuff up here look, look at the shapes look at that right there interesting looks just like it's cut out but look at the difference in the rocks it just it's, it looks like something just thrashed Mars. Mars got thrashed, and whatever happened to it, happened. More 90 degree angle things coming out here. It's got two different colors. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. And the color goes the exact same way there, all the way to the end. Almost like it was designed that way. And it seems to even be a little bit more ornate. See a little circle up here? Now that's an interesting looking thing right there. It looks like it's right above something. It looks like a buried, you know, buried white skull, if you can't see that. Look at that right there. I'm going to make that big so you guys can see it. Because it actually is pretty rounded and pretty sharp. That looks like a little monkey or something. Doesn't it even has a little... Uh, it doesn't look like the color of the rock's different from around there. Look at... Oh, that, was, that little white skull. I didn't even notice that before. That's pretty cool. And it just seems to be more and more pieces of machinery or something. Whatever it is. I don't know. This, this plant had to be... Oh, God, I just wish I could have seen this planet years and years and years ago. Um, just like I wish I could have seen our planet years and years ago. I love to have seen our planet, like when the Mayans were in their heyday. And who knows, maybe some of us have seen it in, in other lives or something along those lines. When I see the pyramids and things like that or talk about them, I've always been interested. In, I think most of us have ever since we were children. Um, just seeing the sheer size of it and being told of it at school and seeing pictures was just amazing. More and more, it seemed to be just freshly cut things. Like maybe this was... Uh, Recently upheaved. Interesting colors from this one. This is a false color picture. They didn't. They basically made it look like it was here on Earth. And this, like I said, this is a pretty huge picture. So I'm just going to go over a couple remaining things. Look at that, just kind of randomly straight, perfect out of the. Looks like it's got little cavern pieces in it too. It's interesting. More and more, just kind of blocky type pictures. And as you look out over on the uh, horizon, there are more of these things. But look how, I mean, these things are pretty big to be able to see them from up over the hill here. But not as much. This is like the little debris field up here on the hill. Look at this out there. Looks like a rounded piece that's just buried down in the sand. And look, you can see, look, the rover went and took a look at it. You can see its tracks rolling through here. It's, it's funny, like they actually, you could tell where they were looking because you can see the tracks. Wherever there's a really cool anomaly, usually there's the rover tracks right next to it. We've already saw that. Let me show you the other side of this, and then we'll let you guys go. Well, actually, here, check this one out, too. Just more and more, it looks like debris. It looks like you can even see the, the shading. Check that out right there. That comes up, and it just looks like it's melted down into there. That's pretty cool. I see what I see. You guys see what you see. That's what I love about doing this stuff. You know, a lot of people say, well, that's just like looking at clouds. So <laughs> it's just like looking at the clouds. I see what I see. You see what you see. But uh, a lot of this stuff is it definitely looks too cool to be just be accidental out there. You know, this is interesting. Looks like Stewie <laughs> from Family Guy. I don't know what I'd do without Family Guy and American Dad. There's, there's just some of the best shows I love. They make me laugh whenever. Check that thing out over here. Definitely that doesn't look like it's floating. Well, it's got a nice shadow either way. I think that the shadow gives it a little optical illusion, but it looks like one of those little Nazi bell crafts that they say uh, Hitler and them had. That's interesting. More boxiness to it. Now, this one was looked over pretty well by NASA when they put it out, but they use all the... When they make these mosaics, they use the, the Basically, they, they go through the rover pictures and grab, I think, like, I wonder how many was on this one. Let's see. Does it even say? It's a 180-degree panorama, so that's basically just in front of us, not behind us as well. A lot of these from the other ones are behind us. 
168 different exposures. So there's a lot of stuff right in this, just one picture. So look at that. That's pretty cool, whatever the hell that is. A lot of, they said a lot of stuff looks to be melted, like it was arced out. The temperature got really hot on Mars at some time. Just pieces that look like they're out of a... Uh, that's pretty cool. These little spears. Almost looks like it's a uh, engine block just chopped in half or something like that. Melted out. Let's see. This I think this is the home plate area right here. There's the... Uh, Look at that. That's just pretty cool. I don't know if they're asteroids, lava rocks. It's so much cool stuff here. More of these that just look like slabs. This actually looks like it's got something on top of it. Like it was a piece of something at one time. The ammo box is right around here somewhere, I think, too. I think that's it right here, maybe. Sure does look like a box or something stick it out. Up here, this kind of, this rock comes out around top of that one. Just looks to be just shapes. I mean, look, look in there and see this as it comes around. This is one to go download. And honestly, if you can, if, if you got the 130 megabytes on your hard drive, download this. Download the big one because this is 100, like 188 Spirit Rover pictures. So it's, this is badass. This is where the thing landed. Um, of course, now it's it's really stuck in the mud and lost. Look at the perfect. See, this is where it's like, all right, well. All those shapes over there and all this stuff, when you get all this together in one little place, you just got to say, how is this, is this random? I mean, look at the, this looks like a big guitar pick or something here, or like a, a piece of art. But do you see it? It's in there. It almost looks like it's perfect. It almost looks hanging off the top of that rock there. I mean, it looks like that perfect. That's interesting here. More and more just stuff just everywhere on this planet. All right. Pull it out just a little bit more. Oh, sorry to make you guys sick. Yeah, I knew there was much more, some more stuff I was looking at over here. Like I said, it's definitely one to go get. I'm surprised I hadn't made one on this picture yet, just because there's so many little ins and outs of it. As I'm going through, I'm sure you guys are noticing stuff and saying, Oh, Will! So that, comment below and let me know what I'm missing. All right, here we go. And look at the difference in the stuff. How it just... Now you've got these... Uh, blocky type pictures here. This picture is so big. Look at this little half, looks like it's just half, perfect half of a circle. Not all the way half, but almost. It just looks like it's been sheared off of something. This is kind of cool, just pulling out there. Very, very interesting shapes. More and more, just of the same. Check these out up here. here. Here's the interesting thing here. It looks like it's kind of squared off here. It almost looks more like it's rounded in the front, but the top, there's an arc or something on there. And you can see it really well. And something goes behind here. It's almost like something's hiding behind there, or it's part of it. But you can see right through it. And see to the back side, I mean, if you look at this stuff, it definitely looks like that's the same color background. Let me even make it bigger so we can see. That color versus that color. I mean, you can't tell the difference. Uh, I mean, that looks like a little arc. Look at this stuff here on top. It's got little, uh, like a little circle pod here with one or two, three little spears on it. And it's at, it's, it looks like it's cut perfectly, you know, like rounded off in the front. Definitely a cool one to get for your collection. If you hung out with me here, I love you guys. More and more of the stuff to see. Wow. Like I said, this stuff just looks like it's been there forever. And if you go look at some of the... Uh, I need to start doing more comparisons with Earth. And I will start doing that, guys. i got so many pictures to get to. So many people send me stuff. And it's just like I feel so bad I haven't made... There's so many videos I want to make that I do need to start getting some more of the uh, Earth comparisons. Because there's so... This looks like some, some of the places on Earth that have been are probably only a thousand two thousand years old too so we're talking not that old this is interesting stuff just kind of hanging out there just looks like it landed in there and pff, hit the dirt look at this thing this this rock right there must be dug in some look how it just kind of looks like it's balancing its weight there all right where is that thought this was just kind of cool here 
just kind of random there. Nothing too much. Let's see. All right. Look at all the memory. This thing's choppy. You used to watch my videos. It's never this choppy. It's hard to get around. So there's that ammo box. So you guys, a lot of you guys have probably seen some of these actually out here because this is like 188 of the shots. But there's another couple of things here too. Just look like circle pieces here. Almost looks like a pot. And you can see the little designs in it too. I mean, some of the stuff could be, like I said, all oh, could be just rocks. But I see what I see. You see what you see. You know. And that's the main thing right there. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. This little piece right here, let me get it as big as I can. Because a lot of you guys look at, watch my video. i got to remember, you guys are watching on little, little mobile devices now. Everything's small. It just looks like this little piece is dripping off there. It almost looks like a table or something. I mean, I'm sure it could just be nature that made that. But either way, it's cool. It's about to blow back out again here. And then this piece right there just looks to be awfully manufactured whatever it is and this is not rover tracks up around here either so this looks like it's pieced out you know whatever this was it just looks destroyed and either it's got some little beings in there it's got it's transparency well right here is very bright and uh made that like a flash or something during it I'm not really 100 percent sure about how that would actually come out there but all right guys what's up in the sky 37 check the description all you gotta do is click the link go download this one 16 minutes in much love to you guys i got a lot more curiosity rover stuff coming up the new saws are just tremendous now they are very blurry like looking at this this was the opportunity this was spear rover this was years and years and years ago opportunity still rolling around up there about to get reformatted but look at the quality of this so and then look at the quality of these new rover pictures from curiosity as we're getting to the good stuff it's getting worse and worse so much love guys hope you had a good one peace